I don't know if I can trust you. Anymore. You can't. You can't. But I promise I'll never betray you again. Uh, what can I do, Michael? You can get up. What? Get up. And you can hug it out, bitch. to do something because people are losing it out there wondering what's going to happen okay we need some sort of distraction for everybody michael can i okay i'm just going to skip right past the what and go with why because this is the recreation of a crime scene i'm the dead body and these are my brain chunks. hey shut up you're dead michael can i talk to you in no your michael office? here my Caleb. name is Today, of all no, days. No, you shut up! They need this game, Jim. Let us have this stupid little game, all right? What's the news? Nothing yet. Well, I guess that's not... Well, there is some bad news. There has been another murder. A murder, you say? I do declare. You are a person I do not respect. The things you say, your actions, your methods and style, everything you would do, I would do it the opposite way. All right, you don't respect me. I accept that. But listen to me. You can't talk to me that way in this office. You just can't. I am your boss. Can't allow it. Fair enough. Hi, buddy. Hey. What up? Sure glad you're back. You are relieved. You have no idea. So what did I miss? Well, I tried to put all the birthdays together at once. Oh, so terrible yeah. idea. Yeah, okay, I did that. Rookie mistake. You did do it? Uh-huh, no. Just wait, 10 years, you'll figure it out. Well, I don't think I'll be here in 10 years. But... That's what I said. That's what she said. That's what who said. I never know. Let <laughs> me just say it. I say stuff like that, you know, to lighten the tension when things sort of get hard. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, nice. Hey, what's up? Same old. It takes a big man to admit his mistake, and I am that big man. And I apologize. Accepted. How's this place treating you? <laughs> my boss isn't funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't get to wear my ties. No, I'm sure. So? So, maybe you should come back. You should come back, please. Here's the situation. Your company is four weeks old. I know this business. I know what suppliers are charging. I know you can't be making very much money. I don't know how your prices are so low, but I know it can't keep up that way. I'm sure you're scared, probably in debt. It's the best offer you're going to get. I'll see your situation and I'll raise you a situation. Your company is losing clients left and right. You have a stockholder meeting coming up and you're going to have to explain to them why your most profitable branch is bleeding. So they may be looking for a little change in the CFO. So I don't think I need to wait out Dunder Mifflin. I think I just have to wait out you. Dwight, I will be leaving tomorrow. Yes. So I wanted to give you that. 
It's a letter of recommendation. This is going to be good. <clears throat> to whom it may concern. Good, real personal. Thanks, Michael. The dictionary defines superlative as of the highest kind, quality, or order, surpassing all else or others supreme. That's great. If I wanted the dictionary definition, I'd buy a dictionary. I define it as Dwight Schrute. As a sales executive, as a leader, as a man, and as a friend, he is of the highest kind, quality, and order supreme. Lots more like that, really repetitive. This is 2.45 behind the building, paintball. Oh. It's nice for you. Your friend got engaged. Uh, to tell you the truth, I used to have a big thing for Pam. So. Really? You're kidding me. You and Pam? Wow. I would have never put you two together. You really hit it well. God. Yeah. She's really funny. And she's warm, and she's just. Well, if you like her so much, uh, don't give up. She's engaged. <laughs> BFD. Engaged ain't married. Huh. Never, ever, ever give up. Pam Caso. Sorry I'm late. I had to race across town. Oh, Michael. Wow. You did these freehand? Yep. My God, these could be tracings. Oh, look at this one. Wow. You nailed it. How much? What do you mean? I don't see a uh, price. Um, you want to buy it? Well, yeah. Yeah, we have to have it for the office. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Dwight, I can't be there for you. I'm sorry. Jim. I just really wish there was something I could do.